Hello. Today we will discuss how to connect Palo Alto Network Firewall to Cortex Data Lake and search logs from Cortex XDR. Before we begin, there are two prerequisites. One, you must activate Cortex Data Lake via Hub. If you have Cortex XDR, Cortex Data Lake will be activated when you activate your XDR tenant. Two, firewalls should be registered to the same account with Cortex Data Lake or Cortex XDR via support portal. Before you start sending logs to Cortex Data Lake, you must install device certificates on as many firewalls as you would like to onboard. For the installing device certificate, you need to generate one-time password from customer support portal. Login to the customer support portal, select assets, device certificates, generate OTP. For the device type, select generate OTP for next generation firewalls and click generate OTP. Select your PanOS device serial number. Click generate OTP and copy the OTP. Also, you can able to download OTP as text file. Click done. Login to your next generation firewall as an admin user. Select device. Setup. Management. And click get certificate. Pass one time password you generate and click OK. Your next generation firewall successfully retrieves and install the certificate. Reboot the firewall for the device certificate to take effect. Now my firewall has been rebooted. Log into the hub and open Cortex Data Lake app instance to which you are onboarding. Select inventory. Click onboard new firewall or panorama. Select new, next. Select next generation firewall and next. Select firewalls to connect Cortex Data Lake. And choose whether Cortex Data Lake will store or only ingest their data. Submit your choices. And done. In the next step, we will configure service route. The firewall uses the management interface by default to access external services. An alternative to using the management interface is to configure a regular interface to access these services. For the customizing service routes, you need to go to device, setup, services, and service route configuration. Select customize. Under service, click Palo Alto Network Services. Select source interface, which you would like to use. I would like to use management interface. Click OK and OK. Next step is checking licenses. For this, select device, licenses, and confirm Cortex Data Lake is active. If you don't see the Cortex Data Lake license, retrieve license key from the license server to manually refresh the firewall licenses. After checking our license, we need to set up connection to Cortex Data Lake. For this, select device, setup, and management. Find Cortex Data Lake. If your firewall software version PanOS 10.0 or earlier, you need to provide pre-shared key which generated on Cortex Data Lake. If your firewall software version PanOS 10.1 or later, your firewall can install a device certificate from customer portal to authenticate to Cortex Data Lake and any other Palo Alto Network Cloud services. 
in this example, my firewall 10.0.3, I will generate pressured key and provide to my firewall. I'm going to Cortex Data Lake, click Generate Pressured Key and copy. Go back again my firewall, device. Setup, management, and then find onboard without panorama and click connect. Paste your pressured key and connect. Close. You need to enable Cortex Data Lake to connect the firewall to Cortex Data Lake. For this, click Cogwheel, enable Cortex Data Lake. If your firewall is not Panorama Managed Firewall, do not select Enable Duplicate Logging. Enable Enhanced Application Logging. This option should be enabled to increase visibility for Cortex XDR, so I will check this as well. And select Geographical Region of the Cortex Data Lake instance to which you want to forward logs. Click OK. Cortex Data Lake logging doesn't start until after you have specified the log types you want to forward. For this configuration, please watch the video entitled Cortex XDR Pro Firewall Log Ingestion. When we click Show Status link, we can check Service Status, License, Certificate, and Customer Info. All of them should be green. My login configuration has been completed. I would like to show you quickly, but for more information, please watch the video entitled Cortex XTR Pro Firewall Log Ingestion. Let's go to Device, Log Settings. I have created a system log settings with name filter, and in the configuration of forward methods, Cortex Data Lake has enabled. And next, object, log forwarding. I created log forwarding profile and enabled enhanced application logging to Cortex Data Lake. This configuration is strongly recommended if you would like to track malicious network traffic and correlation those with alerts produced by Cortex XDR. My last configuration is creation of required policies. Click policies. I have two policies. First one is allowing Palo Alto logging service and Palo Alto shared service application. And forwarding logs to Cortex Data Lake. Second one is allowing any traffic from my internal network to the internet and forwarding logs to Cortex Data Lake. Let's check how can we see traffic logs from Cortex Management Console by using a XQL query. Click Instant Response and Query Builder. We have two options to search firewall logs. We can use XQL Search Link or Network Connection Search. Let's try first network connection search. Type your firewall name and click run. As you can see, we have results. I'm going back and click XQL search. XQL is the Cortex XDR query language. It's allow you to form complex queries against data stored in Cortex XDR. Let's type our query, dataset equals ENW ng firewall traffic row. Filter log source name equals my firewall name, filter again, destination port 
plus 443 and filter again action plus hello click run Here we go. Let's spin our columns. Log source name. Destination port. And action. We have many data set which is related with Palo Alto firewalls. You can write your complex Excel queries based on that data sets. And you can able to join them with Cortex XDR data set as well. And also you can create correlationals with using Excel queries to create an incident on Cortex XDR. Correlation rules help you analyze correlations of multiple events from multiple sources.